This tutorial is an introduction to cartography in GrassGIS. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to create a map in GrassGIS with title, descriptive text, a legend, scale bar, and north arrow several different ways. We'll create a map from the display. We'll create a print quality map from the workspace. And we'll use the Cartographic Composer to produce high resolution PDF maps. To follow along for this tutorial, please go to my website at baharmon.github.io slash courses to find the GIS for Designers course. This will have text, commands, and links for the tutorial. Please, to start, please download the Governor's Island dataset for GrassGIS. The Governor's Island dataset has raster and vector data for Governor's Island and New York City. The coordinate reference system is the North American datum of 1983, State Plain, New York, Long Island, in survey feet. You'll extract, download and extract the data set and put it in your GrassGIS database directory. Then we can start GrassGIS. Open up the Governor's Island location and start in the permanent map set. To begin with, add a new map to the display. Right? Click on Add Raster. In the Add Raster dialog, add the map Land Cover 2014. This is a map of land cover for Governor's Island, including buildings trees, and grass. Let's go ahead and make a legend for this. In the map display, there's a button, Add Map Elements. Click on this and add a raster legend. Command for this is d.legend. In the input tab, put the map land cover 2014. In the font settings tab, set the font color to white. Set the font name to a font on your system. In this tutorial, I'm using the free open source font Leto that I've downloaded and installed on my system. For this example, I'm going to set the font size to 18. And hit apply to preview what the legend will look like. To move the location of the legend, there are coordinates here in the optional tab, so I can control the placement relative to the lower left corner. So a value of 70 for the bottom left, top at 89% of the screen coordinates, and left and right at 2% and 5% of the screen coordinates should give me a nice size legend. Another way you can resize and place the legend is manually. You can move the legend around 
and by left clicking and by right clicking you can choose resize legend and you'll draw the size that you want. So if you wish to remove the numbers from a legend like this land cover legend, you can double click on it in the advanced tab, select check do not show category numbers. This adds the flag C to the command. To add a title text above this, we can use the command d.text. You can type that in the console, or you can select it from the add map elements here. Add text. I'm going to add the text for the title land cover. I'm going to set the font text font color to white. I'm going to first set the font settings. I'm going to check font size in pixels. I'm going to set the font to a, um, a font on my system. In this case, I'm going to choose Lado. As this is a title font, I'll pick the Lado boldface. And for the size, I'm going to set this larger to 24. I'm going to set the position here to 2%. The left position is 2% from the edge of the screen. And from the 98% uh, of the screen from the bottom on the Y axis places my legend a uh, title. Alternatively, you can move this manually. Hit OK. I'm going to add another bit of text beneath that. Add text. Text to display. I'm going to put <laughs> information about the location. So, Governor's Island. Same settings white text color, font settings. I'll set this to Lado regular this time, font size in pixels, and set the height to 18, same as the legend text. And for the position, I'll set the X to 2% and the Y to 95%. Apply, see that it looks good. Okay, I'm going to add one more bit of text. Add text. Text to display will be <coughs> New York City, USA. The text, I'll set the color to white. Font settings. Font size in pixels, Lado, I'll set this to Lado light, and the height, 18, same as before. I'm using a lighter font weight instead of changing the size. Position is 2% of the screen on the x-axis and 92.5 on the y. Apply to check, and it looks good. Now that we have the title, text, and legend looking good, I'm going to add a north arrow and a scale bar. Using map elements again, I can select a north arrow. In, under style, I'll click on the drop down and pick a fancy compass. For text, I'll just make sure I'm using the same font. And I'll set the font size probably to the same. Colors. I'm going to set the line color to white. And I'm going to set the screen coordinates to let's see, ninety. T. 
10. I can go ahead and hit apply to see where that is. And that looks pretty good. And I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to add a bar scale beside that. So add scale bar. I'm going to check under style. I'll pick the type, either classic or solid. Number of segments, I'll reduce that to two text. I'm going to set the text position on the left, font size to 18. In the colors, I'll set the background color to transparent. I don't want to have a background behind this. And I'm going to set the text, the, the bar color to white. In the optional tab, I'm going to set the bar scale units to feet. And I'm going to set the length of the bar scale to maybe 500. Then um, for screen coordinates, I'm going to set this to 72% of the screen on the Y x-axis and 5.8 on the um, y-axis. Check that with apply. That looks good. I'll hit OK. If you want to adjust this, you can simply, of course, manually change it. Left click on it and move it. So now my map's looking quite nice and I'm ready to export this. To save this out at screen resolution, I can simply click on the Save Display to File button. This is going to save. The image size is based on the size of my map display, so I can just hit OK. And I save this out. I'm going to save this as land cover. And I'll save this as a PNG, a Portable Networks graphics file. I'll get a map looking like this. <coughs> this will be at screen resolution, so 72 dpi. If I want to save this at higher resolution, say twice the resolution, 150 dpi, I need to either print the workspace or use the cartographic composer. To print the workspace, we need to use an add-on module. We can install that with the command g.extension. And to do this in the command line, we type extension equals the name of the add-on. This one is called m print ws, ws for workspace. Hit that, and it will install. You can also find this under settings, add-on extensions, and um, manage add-on extensions, and install extension from add-ons. Now to run this, we'll type it in the command line, m print ws. If it's the first time you run it, you may need to add the dash dash ui for user interface flag to force the user interface to launch. This will open the add-on, imprint w s. Before we continue, we should set the region for the raster. Under layers, right click on land cover and set computational region from selected map. This means the extent of our computational region will be set to the full extent of the land cover raster.
Now, to run imprintws, we need to save the current workspace. And we can do that under settings, uh, file, workspace, save as. So file, workspace, save as, and we'll save the current layout of the windows, the map, layers, and all the map elements, and then grass. So save the current workspace. And the extension will be .w, uh, .gxw for grass workspace. Once you've saved the workspace, you're ready to start using the imprintws module. Name of the workspace file to process is the key input, so browse and find that. I saved it in my grass location. NYSPF Governor's Island and the land cover workspace, uh, the Governor's Island workspace. In the output tab, you can set the resolution, the DPI for the generated page. So you should set it to at least 150. And we need to set um, an output file. So browse, and I'm going to place this in my, the map set again. I'll call this land cover. Under output map page size, I'm going to set this to flexi. Rather than picking a page size, Flexi will scale, make the map the same as the map display here, the same uh, proportion without adding any white space. Then you can pick a file format for the output, either PDF or an image format. I'm going to pick a PNG, Portable Networks Graphics. and we can run the command. This will generate the new, a new uh, PNG file named landcover2.png. The layout of the map elements will not be exactly as it is on the screen, so you'll probably need to adjust them based on the output image, then save your workspace again. So save your workspace again, and then you can rerun the module, making sure you allow overwrite. So adjust the map elements as needed based on the output, save the workspace, then rerun the module making sure you've checked allow overwrite until you get the layout looking just right. And with this, you can produce a higher resolution map from grass. Another way to do this is to use the cartographic composer in grass. This is under file, cartographic composer. The command for this is giga.gui.psmap. So we'll open a new window for the Cartographic Composer. In the Cartographic Composer, you'll have a canvas that's based on page size for printing. The first thing we'll do is go to Page Setup, and we'll change the units to millimeters, and the page format to Custom. 
with custom, we can set the width and height to, for example, maybe 1,600 millimeters. Remove the margins. I'll set the width and height to 1,000 this time. OK, now we'll have a nice square page. We can zoom extend. And before we add a map, we need to add a map frame. So select map frame and draw it covering the full extent of the page. Then the map frame settings will automatically open and ask you how you want to fit the frame to the selected map. You can pick it from a selected map or the current computational region, which is also set to the land cover map. In this case, I'll pick the current computational region. The map resolution is set to 300 dpi, and I'm going to uncheck draw border. This is my map frame, and I have, don't have any maps on it yet. I can add raster and vector maps here. I'm going to start by adding a raster map layer. I'm going to select raster and pick the land cover 2014 raster. Here you see it says raster land cover 2014. Now I can add cartographic elements to the map. Here under Add Map Elements, I'll start by adding a legend. I check in the legend settings, I check Show Raster Map. I can pick the current raster, Land Cover 2014. We'll have a discrete legend because Land Cover is categorical. And for size and position, I'll set millimeters. This is from the top left corner, and for the position, I'll set this to 10 and 50. 10 millimeters on the X axis and 50 on the Y. font will be Helvetica, and I'm going to set the font size to 36, then the font color to white. This is ready. I'll hit apply, and I see a preview of it. And I'll hit OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some more map elements. I'll add text above this. So I'll add my title text, for example, land cover. Set the font to Helvetica. I'll set the size to 64, the color to white. I'm using larger font sizes in pixels because I'm at 300 DPI resolution this time. So I've set font to Helvetica, font size to higher, 64, font color to white, position. I'm going to set this to millimeters. I'm going to set this to X position to 10 millimeters, the same as before, and the Y position to 20. Then in the reference point here, I'm going to set this to the top left corner. Hit apply, and I see my text previewed. Optionally, you can go ahead and add some more text elements like we did before to add Governor's Island, New York City here. 
I'm going to skip that and I'll go ahead and add a scale bar. For the scale bar, I'll set the units to millimeters, replacement. I'm going to set the X position to the bottom left with 10 and the Y to 950. So 950 millimeters from the top on the Y axis, 10 over on the X. I'm going to set the length to 1,000 feet and the height to maybe 10 millimeters. The style, I'll use the bar legend. I'm going to set this to either two or four segments. The font size, set this to 36 and a transparent text background. Apply, see the preview, okay. When you're ready, you can click Generate PDF to export this as a PDF. In the bottom, it will say Generating PDF, and when it finishes, you'll have your PDF map. You can click the Cartographic Composer by hitting this power button or the X. It's also possible to run Python scripts to export um, the map display and generate maps. I'll make another tutorial on generating maps using Python scripts and give you a quick demo right here. So we'll go to File, Launch Script, select a script for rendering maps. and it will run in the console and export the map. For more information on Python scripts, please see my tutorial Python in Grass. And thank you for watching.